Hello everyone and welcome back to another vlog. We are just contemplating what to have for food because we've just finished our live stream. Our two and a half hour live stream. Yeah, I think um, so. which was so pardon? I think it was two and a half hours. About two and a half hours. It was really fun, wasn't it? It was really fun. And now we don't know what to eat. So you're gonna have a look on good to go. And there's nothing really on there. There's nothing on good to go, so Ooh. we're gonna go get McDonald's. We're gonna be good and go to McDonald's. Um do Mackie have... D's. Yeah. We're gonna go to McDonald's even though we really shouldn't. Ah, so... What are you doing? I don't wanna hold this. There we go. Um I have so many vintage parcels that need to send. I'm folding. Hold me up. Um, so much vintage, that she's minted. <laughs> <laughs> Wish that was true. Uh, Meanwhile, I sit here, I'm skinted. No, you're not. No. Well, I'm not got loads of them. No. I've got enough. He has. I've got enough to cover my bills. He's got enough to cover his bills, and that's all that matters. I'm going to Um. So, do you want me to come with you? Are you alright? You can come, I just want to hold the drinks. What about a dog? You can have nuggets. Do you want to go? Taken for a week quickly. Wee wee wee. He's hmm. gonna be a pain. Should we just take him with us or not? No, okay. Um, so we're gonna go get a McDonald's. I don't know what we're gonna get yet. It's currently ten to seven. Is it open? Yeah, McDonald's drive through is open till like midnight. Um, yeah, and like I said, we just did our last year, which was two and a half hours. So much fun if you guys joined in because i know i have a lot of viewers who watch that thank you so much for joining and commenting because we just have the best time over there um so yeah we're gonna go get food i'll show you what we get i'm excited i'm not that hungry though so i think i won't get too much we just get an average amount normally when we get mcdonald's we go ott but i think i'll just get a normal amount today but i'll show you when we get back we're also in contemplation of starting a gaming channel which will be fun if we do, but we don't know yet. We're talking about it. We'll let you know. Anyway, we're gonna go. I'll see you guys in a bit. Bye. What are you feeling? I have a share box of nuggets. Yeah. With what sauce? Sweet curry. Um, two sweet curry and two barbecue please. Yeah, those for you. <laughs> no, could we have a um, M M Halloween? The M M Halloween McFlurry and yeah. the what's the other one? The caramel one as well. Caramel galaxy one. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, can I get the other sauces? Um, what sauces are there? Uh, we have ketchup, barbecue. Sweet and sour and sweet curry, and then you can, or you can pay for a sweet chili or garlic mayo. Um, no, that's okay, thank you. Yeah, it's okay for you. Yeah, that's it, thanks. Just go for it for you, Have a lovely evening. All right. You'll have to excuse the lighting, I can't bother to change it. We're back with the goods the Mackie D's. I went for a Fanta. Connor went for a Oasis. Oasis. Straws. I go for sweet curry. Connor goes for barbecue. Oh, barbecue. And then. Chippies. Chippies. Uh, one or two? Two. I went for something different, and so did Connor. Yeah. So this was a re request, no this was, I was told to get this, to try this, from one of our double takers, Adam, Adam if you're watching, I All got right. it and I'm going to do a taste reveal for you, because you said that it's good, so I'm taking your word for it, we're also going to watch Arrested Development, which I've not seen before. Yes, Connor yeah. has, but first let me just give this a little taste test. Oh, it's got tartar sauce. I do like tartar sauce. You are a bit of a tartar yourself. It's quite small. It looks like a baby's burger. Yeah. 
I don't know, but I love fish, so I probably will like this. Is that like one giant fish finger? I think so. You'll probably like it. Do you want to try it? Yeah, I will. Yeah. Mm. Let's have a little bite then. It's all cheese in it. Oh, it's very soft. Mm. It's like a fish finger sandwich. I like that. I love fish finger sandwiches. Mm. It's a no for me. No? Is it the sauce you don't like though? Could be. This is yummy. Adam, thank you for telling me to buy that. It is like a fish finger sandwich and I love fish fingers, so it was a win-win for me. It's stuck on your teeth. Anyway. Oh, wait, no. You have to try mine now. Oh, okay. I got the McRib. And we got chicken nuggets to share. Yeah. Oh, that's a bit Questionable. funky. Oh, Ooh. it looks like vegan food. Go on. That's nice. That's good. That's <laughs> quite good, you know. Well, there we go. That's our little taste test. We won't mm -hmm. taste test the nuggets for you because we know what they taste like. And the chips, but... See you later. Good morning, everyone. It's currently Monday morning and I'm just about to get ready to go out with my mum. I think we're going to go to another garden centre. Guys, I know it's early. You don't have to tell me it's early, but... Mum and I are just in really festive, cosy moods at the minute. I think it's the weather as well. It's just typical British weather, which I absolutely love. I mean, I would prefer some blue skies, you know, a lot less cloud, but I like how cold it is. Um, and this garden set has got their Christmas decorations up, and Mum is on the hunt for a new Christmas tree this year. So we're going to go see what we've got and then I think we're just going to get like a coffee and a little something to eat, nothing big. Um, because last week we went for two breakfasts and we didn't really enjoy either of them. <laughs> so it was like, should we just get like a snack instead of a breakfast? Does anyone else find that eating breakfast out is just one expensive and two just not worth the price? So yeah. Um, like. I was actually a bit crazy, I had three. Connor and I went out at the weekend on Saturday and we got a breakfast from Sainsbury's. Sainsbury's calf. That weren't nice either. <laughs> I don't know, maybe I'm just fussy. I'm just not enjoying breakfasts at the minute. So we, I think we're gonna get scone the place that we're going to do the best scones. Um, so that'll be quite nice. I need to sort my hair out. Just walk the dog. Um, my hair at the minute is just not, not loving me. The thing is, I don't know what I'm doing wrong. I don't know if it's because it's colder. Like, I've not changed my hair care routine at all. But I just feel so much more dry. I don't know. Maybe I just need to do, like, a really deep conditioning hair mask. Or I might, what I might do is, like, K18 for the six times in a row. Just to like reset my hair kind of thing. Um, I don't know what it's doing but I'm not enjoying it. So let's put a bit of oil just to try and hydrate it. I do have like naturally dry hair anyway. But it just seems like really dry at the minute. And also like all this frizz at the top of my hair. When I went to the hairdresser she did say it was new hair growth. So I'm not worried about it. It's just irritating you know so anyway that's enough moaning for me today because you probably didn't click on this vlog for me to moan at you um i'll show you my outfit we've gone very basic because i said i'd walk mum's dogs with her after my little dog siblings um i already walked hugo so he's all good and if anyone's wondering why we don't walk them together, it's because they don't get on. Uh, they used to get on when they were puppies, 
and then they just don't like each other now so we just don't bother I'm just going to try and sort some of this frizz out it's just easier to keep them white than try and make them get on you know but it is sad because it does mean um, Hugo misses out on like Christmas and like birthdays and stuff but he is a dog and he doesn't understand like that's what I always tell myself around this time of year like he doesn't understand he's not a human that's my little frizz hack bit of hairspray on a hairbrush and then just try and smoothen it down also add shine which is nice I'm not worried about it being like if it gets greasy because I just wash it. You guys know I don't care about washing my hair more often. Um, I do talk about shit on here, don't I? <laughs> I do go on about some crap, but yeah, just getting ready now. I've also got mammoth amount of vintage parcels to take. I'm gonna leave my vintage linked below if you're interested in anything. I'm gonna put a load more stuff on later. I've got some books, got some cargo trousers, some jeans. I'm just trying to sort my life out a bit because I've got too much stuff and it's cluttering my mind. You know when you just have too much stuff and you just want it all gone? Like anything I haven't worn this year, I'm selling. Because it's it's just ridiculous. I just don't need this much rubbish in my house. Like I just need to declutter and le lead a minimalistic life. Sometimes I get caught up, like if I get obsessed with something like books or clothes, I'll buy so many and then I'm like, well now what do I do with it? It's like makeup, I've got so much makeup but it's all used so I can't sell that. Um, but I don't wear makeup. I can't remember the last time I put makeup on my face. Not that it helps my skin because my skin is breaking out massively right now but I was just on my time of the month so I think that does play a role. I might do two clips because it's a bit puffy this morning. I did only wash it yesterday. So many vintage parcels. I don't mind doing vintage parcels. It doesn't bother me. But what I find irritating is that you have to go to like so many different places to send them. Like I wish it was just in post lockers or, or just every or just yodel, you know. Right. I think this will do. I'll show you my outfit. Excuse the mess. Um... I've gone so basic. I've got this cardigan from Sheen. I've got this black top from Primark and these flares from Sheen. Um, and then I'm just going to wear Uggs. Uh, and I think that's it. I just can't be bothered. I should put some of this on. I really should make more of an effort, but... Do you know what? What's time? I've got a bit of time. Wait there. I'm going to put a tiny bit of e.l.f. halo glow on Wrong shade. in shade 1 just to make myself look a little less ill everyone always thinks I'm ill when I don't wear like makeup because I have such pale skin <laughs> I remember when I used to like go to college if I went in with no makeup everyone would be like are you okay I'm like yeah just, oh you look you look ill no, I'm just pale. I'm so pale. Okay, that will do. That's like giving me a little bit of something, you know, but not too much. Right, I'm gonna go. I'll see you at the garden centre.
my twin brother I keep missing his calls It's funny just how easily a family can drift apart I'm finally getting married to an angel in human form But I still think about Nashville with staying Always gone too fast Like a trip to the beach Or the life of James Dean And it kills me to think I'm avoiding the pill I can't swallow Stop here. I don't want to. Happy Halloween! Oh. Oh, let's do it. <laughs> it's quite good though. They've never done this before. <laughs> Come on then. I don't like Halloween anyway. That reminds me of um a pretty little thing. Lies. Oh yeah. I need to watch that again. I've watched it for a while. It's been a while. <laughs> I feel like my weekly vlogs have a theme of where I, whoa, that was bloody quick, um, of where I, like, the majority of the vlog happens, um, and this week it's in the spare room, but I am just getting ready to pop over to my mum's because I've been selling mammoth amounts of shit, basically, on Vinted. Um, and I've got a whole bag to send that's overflowing um, and I've just sold some I literally two seconds ago not even just put the Akatar series on my vintage and it's sold within a minute absolute bonkers um, so that's good I need to package that one up that's every so I'll do that this afternoon after I've picked Connor up I think um, but basically my mum wants me to go over and help her sell some stuff on vintage so I also am at like oh, a bit of a rut with my hair it's just it probably doesn't look it but it's so dry like the thing is it's not that dry but it's drier than it normally is for me like my hair is normally quite silky soft and it's just really dry at the minute so I went to Superdrug yesterday after I picked Connor up and I got this which I'm not going to use <laughs> because I've read some reviews and apparently it turns your hair orange um, so I am not about that to be honest um, so I'm just going to either try and sell it or just throw it, it was only like £2 so I thought it'd be good because it was like a wash in colour and it said it gives your hair like a nice gloss anyway the other thing I got was this Garnier 
pineapple glowing length drink and it says 10 times smoother mirror like shine infant Lama, la, I don't know what that says <laughs> rinse out treatment basically I'm gonna my thing is right my hair's not greasy as much as I want to use that today I don't need to because my hair's fine um so I really don't need to wash my hair today but I really want to use that to see if I like it I've heard so many good reviews on that so hopefully that's going to just give my hair like a little bit of something i just don't know why it's so so dull at the minute i don't know if it's the weather i don't know if it's my diet like i'm pretty convinced it's my diet to be honest because well me and connor have not been eating the best honestly since my birthday um so i need to like get a grip um yeah i'm just getting ready to go to my mum's i'm gonna do some of the parcels because some of them are every I'm quite lucky in the fact that my yodel um drop off point has the impost lockers next to it so I can do those two together but every's on the other side of where I live so it only takes five minutes to get there but I'm not going to drive all the way all around the place this morning and I'll just do it after I've picked Connor up it should be easier um and that's about it to be honest i can't believe the akatar series sold that quickly i only put it out for 15 quid because i read them and i didn't love them and i just think there's actually no point me keeping them i did have like a thought in my head like what if it's similar to the whole a good girl's guide to murder because i didn't really enjoy that when i first watched it but once I watched it, watched it, read it, I wasn't that fond of it when I first read it and then I read it again and I absolutely loved it. So Akata could have been one of those, but to be honest, I'm not reading a massive amount recently because I just, I've been watching TV instead. Um, so I just thought I'd just sell it. It's fine. Um, so that's gone. But yeah, I need to take all these parcels. I sold my air wrap. I was contemplating it and I spoke about it before and I was like, oh, I might say that I might not, I don't know. And then Connor was like, why don't you give it like three months? Don't think about it. And if you find yourself reaching it and using it, keep it. And if you don't, just sell it. And I haven't been using it. Like I just, if I wash my hair, nine times out of 10, I air dry it or I use my other Dyson because it's quicker. I think I said this, it could have been in yesterday's vlog. I don't know, or last week's, but I just don't reach for it and it's a lot of money just sitting there gathering dust, so I thought I would just sell it and someone bought it, so that's cool. I need to get these parcels packed up, I also need to sell some more stuff, but honestly I have a huge pile down here, so I don't know whether just to wait for that to go first or what, like I've really cut down on my stuff, but it doesn't look like it because it's all in a pile waiting to be sold. Um, so I'm going to package up that book set, box set, book set, I don't know, and then go to the lockers and all of that jazz and post the stuff, but I thought I'd just catch you up on what I'm doing today, because it's not going to be very interesting, I hope you enjoyed the little garden centre trip yesterday, that was quite fun, um, yeah, it's not going to be that interesting, because I just need to go to the post office, like a hundred different ones, so I just thought I'd let you know, but I'm going to try this, either tomorrow or tonight I think probably tomorrow because I'm at home all day tomorrow not doing anything so I think I'll use this and then I'll give you an update I'm excited I've heard so much good stuff about these drinks I was contemplating the banana one or this one and Connor said that my hair isn't dry so I should get the one for dull hair <laughs> so that's the one for that one anyway I'm rambling so I'm gonna go and I'll speak to you in a little while <laughs> look absolute absolutely crazy but I've washed my hair and I thought I'd show you what it turns out like I used the pineapple drink and then the matching hair mask and then for shampoo I used Enforcer and I also used K18 now my hair has been in a towel for about 20 minutes if that's to be honest I am going to pop in some living proof triple bond complex 
I don't use this as much as I should. Like, I know that people say you get the best results with this if you constantly use it. So it starts with two pumps. I just rub this in my hands like K18. And hello guys, by the way. <laughs> I'm just going to show you because I really want to see how shiny my hair turns out. But I'm gonna put this in my hair. You have to leave it 10 minutes and then I'll put in another leave-in conditioner or treatment and then we'll blow dry and see see the magic. I just like to rub this in my hands like K18 just so it's nice and warm. I like flipping my head over when I use products like this in K18 because I have short layers so I like to get close to my root without actually touching my root. I'm going to leave that in for 10 minutes then we're going to blow dry and I thought I'd show you the result but I just wanted to catch you up and let you know that I've used this hair drink. So I'm excited to see what it turns out like. It was a really weird sensation like as I was putting it in my hands it was getting warm and it was thicker than it looks because it looks just like a liquid but it's actually quite like a thick liquid when you pour it in your hands. I thought it was just going to run all over the place but it didn't. Um, I only used one dose because I don't have thick hair so I'm excited to see if it's actually made a difference or not. But yeah, I'll be back once I've blow dried it. Um, I'm just going to leave it to air dry for about 10 minutes. Okay, what do we think? I've not put any like oils or anything. I've just blow dried it how I normally would. I don't know if you can see. Does it look shinier? I can't tell. I feel like it does a bit. I was also going to cut my hair and then I dried it and forgot so that went out the window. It feels thicker, like one thing it does it feels thicker, it feels like softer again. I've not put any oil on it and like the ends aren't as dry. Also like my fringe is finally growing out. I quite like it like this though. Um, I'm not going to cut it, I'm just going to let it grow out but I'm quite liking this hair. I don't know. I do think it looks shinier. It's not like wowed me though. I don't feel like blown away by it. <laughs> Should I feel... Maybe I shouldn't have put the hair mask in. Maybe... That's why. Because I did the hair mask as well. Maybe I should have just done... The hair drink and not the hair mask. But... There we go guys, if that's what you want to see. That's how shiny it's meant. It, um, it does look shiny actually. It's like reflecting the light a lot. I think I was just expecting it to look like kind of glass hair, which I don't think it does, but I'm happy though. I'm happy never that it looks so much better than it has been looking and that's all a girl can ask for. The only thing that's annoying me, right, is like this, side of my fringe it dries naturally really nicely what does this side do like it needs to take a leaf out of this side's book I don't know what the problem is over over this side I don't dry it any differently like my hair will naturally air dry like that I don't know I'm gonna put some oil in it feels nice and clean and fresh and soft though which it hasn't been feeling very soft recently I also use K18, so maybe that's why. Maybe I should do it without using everything else. I don't know. <laughs> it definitely does look shiny. I think maybe I'm like shine blind, you know? I don't know. Anyway, I'd give it like a 6 out of 10 because my hair is definitely shiny, but I think maybe I didn't give it a fair test by using other products as well. Maybe I should have just used that and shampoo. So I'll do that next time and then I'll give it a fair rating. But for now, it's definitely like a six because my hair is really soft and it definitely is shiny.
and it just feels nice you know anyway i've got so much more vintage stuff to upload so i'm gonna get on with that i really need a drink as well um tonight we're having burgers for dinner i've just got oven chips normally i do make my own chips but i'm not gonna lie to you can't be bothered so we're just gonna have burgers and oven chips i also eat i can't talk i also normally buy my own burger and uh, make my own burgers but i couldn't be bothered to do that either so i just bought burgers such such a lazy um thing but um sometimes we're just a bit lazy you know anyway that's the hair <laughs> i'm gonna go i'm sweating um but i'll speak to you guys in a little while hi everyone i just got home <laughs> um been out with mum came around this morning didn't she nanny come to see you um and just we went to a local garden centre but it's literally so bad that i didn't even vlog oh my god <laughs> so hugo's excited to see mummy um I literally haven't stopped all morning, so I got up, walked the dog to work, picked my mum up, come back here, made us breakfast, then we watched some, I wanted to show her Modern Family because she's never watched it before, so we watched an episode of Modern Family, then I edited for Double Take, and then we went to the garden centre, sorry I'm just turning off the camera, okay, um, then <laughs> we went to the garden centre, and then I dropped her home and then I went to Boots because I wanted to pick up, can you get down a few bits? I've seen these on TikTok and I looked at the reviews on Superdrug and Boots and they were really good. So first of all, I treated myself a little Costa coffee, cheaper than actually going to Costa, which is right opposite, right opposite, but these are so much cheaper. So good, right. So what I got was the LV Hyaluronic Wonder Water. So there's this one. <laughs> it's not for you. And there's the Dream Lengths one, but I was watching, I think her name's Mary on TikTok. She's a professional hairdresser. She recommends this one. It's a hyaluronic one. She said um, that you can use it if you've got a fine hair or like, not a lot of hair basically you can use it as your conditioner and I have really fine hair um it's not very like I would say I have thin fine hair because like this is all my hair that's not a lot like I wouldn't say it's it's definitely not thick I mean I don't know maybe I'm wrong I don't think it's thick and I lose a lot of hair in the shower but I said earlier in the vlog that I'm struggling with shine this one is you only massage it in for eight seconds. I want to see how this one compares to the Garnier one. Um, so I'm going to use this today. Eight second one water. I mean, it's got the same thing. Lam lam lamella conditioner. I don't know. But it was on offer. It was half price. And then I got two of their full resist with Aminex, Aminexil, um, which is caffeine and our Argeni I don't know what I'm trying to say this basically it's an anti hair fall serum it says reduces hair fall due to breakage I'm not 100% convinced that my hair is shedding because of breakage because it's not in an awful condition however I've heard really good reviews about these I was looking at all the reviews on line yesterday and it just says our anti hair fall serum contains a clinically proven act active that strengthens hair and minimizes hair fall due to breakage use once daily in the morning or before going to bed visible results within six weeks apply directly on scalp section by section making sure to distribute evenly throughout massage gently apply one dose per use and do not rinse can be used on wet or dry hair one dose equals six mils corresponding to the graduation the graduations on the bottle basically um so I'm actually very excited to use this. So I'm going to start this today as well. I got two because they were half price. And I don't know if you can see, it's got like the little lines on the side. And I don't think that's going to last six weeks if you've got to use it every day. So I thought I might as well just start with two now and see how we got on. And then I got my coffee. What's people saying? Right. I'm just waiting. I'm waiting for so many payments on Vinted. Do you know what's annoying is people are like, how quickly can you ship this? You ship it for them quickly and then they just don't pay you. So I shipped it for you quickly. Can't you just confirm that everything's okay? That the parcel has literally been delivered. You've had it. Just say everything's fine. 
Or when people make you offers and then just don't buy it. Like, why are you making me an offer? Um, anyway, I'm just rambling about Vinted. Vinted, I love and hate at the same time. But, yeah, it's 11 o'clock now. I am going to chill a little, little while with the dog because he hasn't slept since his morning walk. So I bet he's tired. Um, I might also, while I'm chilling here, just get the scissors and cut off some of the spins. I can see I like doing that when I'm just like not doing anything, you know. And then I'm going to shower. I'm going to use this one today with K18, but I'm not going to use a conditioner after. Um, because I think I'm going to weigh my hair down too much. I mean, my hair is really good condition. I gave it a little cut. I always cut my own hair just because I know how I like it and I can cut it quite evenly now. Like I found a really good way, um, to do it. So... Yes, that's my ramble over. If anyone else has got any more recommendations for like hair fall, tried rosemary, rosemary oil. I can't use it because um, I've got psoriasis on my scalp anyway and it's manageable at the minute. Like it's actually been quite good. However, rosemary oil is just not good for already like sensitive scalps. I've tried it. It just doesn't work for me. I'm doing massages daily. So when I put this in, I'm going to do a little bamboo massage just to distribute it with my brush. And that's it. Um, Woohoo! Made another sale. Um, and that is pretty much the deal. I'm going to wait until I see if I get a more, few more sales on Vinted. Um, and then I'll have to go to the post office before work. But yeah, I'm just going to cuddle the dog because he's probably tired and he wants cuddles. But I'll show you. I'm not going to show you my hair again. Well, I'll give you a little update. I'm going to go get the scissors, cut off some split ends just because, yeah, I'm going to put on some TV and chill for an hour. See you guys in a little while. Hello everyone, it's Sunday. I never vlog on a Sunday because Sunday is like my editing and uploading day. However, I edited throughout the week, so I'm pretty much up to date. And I thought, let's bake together. Let's do some Sunday baking. Connor has requested a lemon drizzle cake, and I'm not gonna lie to you, he asked for this about two weeks ago, and I'm only just getting around to making it. I'm gonna use the BBC Good Foods recipe, just because it's easier. Um, so we need 225 grams of, two, where was it? 225 grams of unsalted softened butter. I've got salted, just because I don't add my salt extra anyway, so extra flavour. Um, then 225 grams of caster sugar, 4 eggs, 225 grams of self-raising flour, and then 1 lemon zest. I don't actually know if I have any lemons. I did think I bought lemons, but I was a bit worried there. Okay, so 1 lemon zest, and then just lemon juice and caster sugar for the toppings. So we need to preheat the oven to 160 for a fan. If I remember, I will leave the recipe I'm using in my description. If I forget, comment and I will comment it. It's just the Good Food BBC one. It's quite quite easy to find. Okay, let's go with the butter first. How has everyone been? How's everyone Sunday? How are you all feeling? I'm feeling okay. I just should apologise for my appearance because um, I've just had a shower and done like my hair. So I'm just waiting for it to air dry a little bit before I blow dry it. Um, not that any of you asked, but we took the dog for a walk this morning. Connor's currently editing for today's uploads, um, just because we're not we're not being behind at all. But I only edited yesterday's three videos instead of doing all of them, which I probably should have done all of them, but I just didn't really think. And we have Connor bought Black Ops Six um for our playstation and i'm not gonna lie we have been rinsing that game all weekend it's been fun um we just love a new game it's honestly so much better than modern warfare so far because they don't have that um like skills based damage thing which is so irritating that modern warfare introduces basically like the better you are the harder the game is for you because it makes it easier for people who aren't as good like it's just annoying um so we've been rinsing black ops we played one game of zombies i think 
The zombies just doesn't, isn't the same. I don't know why, it just doesn't, it's not what I remembered it to be, you know? Um, but we've been playing a lot of team deathmatch because that's just what we enjoy. This scales is not, um, don't well. And yeah, so that's what we've been doing pretty much all weekend. Apart from that, I haven't done a lot. We went out yesterday because we're thinking of doing a gaming channel or not really a gaming channel, but just live streaming when we game and then putting the VODs up on a second channel. Um, so, you could fall, I don't know. I don't know how that's gonna go. We've got a technical thing that, I don't know, Connor does all the technical stuff, I don't understand it. But basically to like screen record, you have to have a capture card. I don't understand it, I never will. But he's ordered one and it should be coming today. So hopefully we can start streaming in the week, just playing games, because we play it anyway. So it'd be cool just to stream it. Anyway, cake talk. I'm going to use my Kenwood electric whisk. I really need to clean this, deep clean it, but I just haven't. Um, oven's preheating, we're gonna whisk this together until it's really pale and fluffy. I feel like this is a little bit of a better angle, I just have to duck. So now it's all like, I don't know if you can see, really like creamy, fluffy, lighter in colour. I'm just gonna get my spatula scrape down the edges um, yeah one egg at a time whisk in between and then we'll add our flour also don't be like scared if it goes into like a really weird texture because it's just because you haven't added the flour yet. The same amount of flour as we did butter and sugar, so 225. You can sift this, I'll leave it up to you. I never sift flour. Uh, I'm just gonna use this. I think it's a cheese grater, but gonna work well. It's actually coming off quite easily. Normally I hate doing stuff like this because it, the lighting is awful. It just gets like stuck on the grater. Now my lemon looks slightly strange. I'm going to start folding this in with my spatula just till it's all combined. Pour this in. Wait. <laughs> Guys, if you've watched Modern Family, what's your favourite season and who's your favourite character? I love them all. I have my moments, but I was saying to Connor, the thing about Modern Family compared to like other TV shows, for example, Gilmore Girls, I actually don't really like the main characters that much. And they all have take it in turns when they really irritate me. In Modern Family, no one irritates me because I think they're all funny. So it's just easier to watch, you know? And then we're gonna put this in the oven. How long for BBC food? 45 to 50 minutes. Okay, I'm gonna clean up and then I'll be back once the cake is ready to be iced. Oh, I'm looking a bit more presentable now. And the cake is all done, you can't see. Cake is all done. Um, it took about, I'd say closer to an hour then 45 minutes in my oven. 85 grams of castor sugar. Okay, I'm just gonna use a little spoon. Prick the warm cake all over with a skewer or fork, then pour over the drizzle. The juice will sink in and the sugar will form a lovely crisp topping. Leave in the tin until completely cool, then remove and serve. Do you want it now, or do you want to wait for it to cool down? I'll try a bit now. Okay. Hopefully this just moistens it up in the end. Moistens, I that word. Okay. There we go. 
Are you going to eat it with your fingers? Oh. There we go, guys. Coffee and cake. That cake looks so good on the inside. It's really fluffy. Oh. A sec. Taste test! Okay. No one wants to hear that. <laughs> I've not made Connor a lemon drizzle cake before and I don't think I've made a lemon drizzle cake in years, like I said. Ready? Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> That's really good. The crust is a little bit overdone, I think. No, I like that though. Mm. The inside's perfect. Like a, it's got like a crunch to it, mm. but it's not obviously too young. The inside of this is literally perfect. Mm -hmm. It's like spongy, so definitely use that recipe. I'll try and remember to link it. Um, but it's just the BBC Food one. Mm. Good cake. Very good cake. And we're going to enjoy our yes. coffee, cake, and cod. And cod. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Bye.